Yeah, I know I'm very late to it, but today we are going to be recapping all of the bets for the Clembat channel at UFC Vegas 90. Guys, apologies for getting this out to you very, very late. Of course, as you, some of you may know who have been following the channel, I just had a kid over the weekend. Everything went smoothly. It's been fantastic. Thank you very, very much for all the wonderful messages. We should be back on the content grind throughout the week. Regardless, regardless, is not what you're here for. You're here to see the bets that we had for the channel members at UFC Vegas 90. I wanted to upload this video. I'm not going to give my reaction every fight because, of course, it is everybody's been talking about UFC 300 now. <laughs> everybody's ready for UFC 300, and I didn't get the, I didn't get the ball on rolling right away. So I always wanted to be transparent with you guys, especially if I'm running something like a channel membership where I go through all my wins, all my losses. Let's take a look at the bets that we had for UFC Vegas 90. So this is what we had. Of course, what I had to say is I pumped out this video really quick and made these picks really quick because there were some lines that haven't dropped yet, but it was like, I'm going to hit them either way because again, we got word and then ended up having an appointment that we were going to have the baby, but I want, I'm running a membership here. I had to pump this video. So I was like, oh my God, we have a few hours. I need to run downstairs. And that's what basically this was all about. So getting into the bets for today, the bets that we had were Brendan Allen versus Chris Curtis to go over 3.5 rounds, which was very nice. Trevor Peak versus Charlie Campbell over 1.5 rounds. Again, hit Chepe Mariscal to win. That one's a little bit dicey, but I did feel like Chepe Mariscal was going to win, and I loved him. Absolutely loved him at underdog odds. Same with Alex Morono versus Walter Walker. This is the only bet that we had that did not hit. That's a little bit shocking to me that Lucas Bresky won, but you know what? I need to learn my lesson about picking guys coming into the UFC where we don't know they necessarily have that experience, right? But Alex Morono, I thought about playing by himself, but I didn't love the odds for the chances, and then I ended up putting these two together, which, you know what? It's totally okay because we had every single other bet hit. Unfortunately, the odds for this one did get cut completely, and I was stuck with just Norma Dumont versus Jermaine Durand me over 1.5 rounds. And of course, my most confident play of the entire weekend was a one championship two fight parlay with Ty Ruotolo and Cade Ruotolo to win. I am so high on those brothers. Those guys are phenomenal to watch. They are amazing, and I'm probably going to ride that train until it derails. Both of them got the same submission. An insane. It, they're a pleasure to watch. And of course, a one unit bet on Brennan Allen to win. I was speaking very high about Brennan Allen through the entire week. Thought he was going to win. Thought he got the job done. I know some people thought Chris Curtis won, but I honestly, I thought Brennan Allen won the fight. What can you do? He won the fight. <laughs> so guys, if you are interested, check out the channel membership. The link will be in the pinned comment down below. Either that or right next to the subscribe button. I have a lot a lot of bets that I will be placing for UFC 300. I'm feeling good about it. I'm excited, guys. Thank you very, very much for your support. Even if you're not part of the membership, I appreciate you being here. Check out also in the description, pinned comment down below. You can get a discount on Odds Jam using my link and code Clenbat. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Take care.